Okay, welcome back everyone, Professor Piyush here. So, previous two lessons we learned how to set up our interface, you know, bringing this panel here, how to maneuver and, you know, add and remove tabs from here and uh, how to work with the viewports, how to navigate in the viewport, how to move and rotate in the viewport and how to, you know, get to yourself used to with the viewport, spanning, zooming, orbiting, moving, rotating, how to change different ways to see your model in the viewport. So pretty much we covered all about you know, getting yourself ready to start modeling in Rhino. Now in this uh, video we will learn very basic tools for any softwares when you start when you start learning any softwares, any 3D modeling software or any CAD software, computer aided design softwares, very basic tools must be move tools, transform tools uh, as a whole I can say. So they are move tools, rotate, you know, copying, mirroring, all those things are part of a transform tool set. So in Rhino also we have a transform tool set. If you go in the sidebar here and you will see this icon which says transform and if, if you look closely in every icon, uh, sorry not every icon but most of the icons will have this triangle here which shows that there is an extension. So in one single, it does not mean it is only one tool, it has a set of tools. So if I go to transform here and click, you will see it will give me a whole list of transform tools available and within those transform also you will see different other tools with extension as well, just like you can see here align tool is there and with align tool there is another extension, aligning your model on different ways. So it is filled with tools, you know, depends where, now you can see this is another tool of cage editing. Now we will go through is all these tools later during the course. But in this video I will be telling you a few basic tools just for a starting, how to move, how to, you know. Uh, copy, rotate and how do we play or how do we make use of the commands in this Rhino? How is it different from other uh, software interfaces? So we will go through that. Let us start moving our objects uh, in the model. So I will go back to the transform tool, transform tool set here and I will click the extension and I will take the first tool which is the move tool left click of your mouse. Moment you do that, you will see on the top, the moment you do that, just have a view or an eye on the top command line. This particular portion is known as the command line, where whatever you do and whatever the guidance and uh, command uh, prompts will be there, they will be coming here. So the moment I selected the tool, what does it say? It say it is asking you me to select an object to move. So I will definitely select one object. Before that, let me just double click it and bring it to the full size. Now I am still in the command. I will select any object, let us say this one, Taurus. And now when I select this, again the second uh, command or second uh, guideline pops up. It, it is telling me to press enter when done. So either you can press enter here or you can press spacebar or the fastest way is to press the right click of your mouse. So I will use that. The moment I do the right click, the cursor changes to a cross here with a pointer. Now I can give any random points from where I want my, uh, you know, this object to move. So it can be either from this point or the center or any random points. That detail we will cover later. So I will do a left click. And now I can easily move my object. If you want to move or uh, you know lock a certain direction, uh, you can press shift and then move your object. It actually locks the object in that direction you want to move, whatever direction it locks it to 90 uh, horizontal, the red axis. And if you are going to the green axis, it will lock to the green axis. Or Y axis. And if you want to snap on the grid, you can see at the bottom this line 
we will cover that also in detail but for now you just click the grid snap and you will see now it, it will be snapping the grid itself just taking the grid points and there are ortho planner will cover all these what does it mean so this is the way you can easily move your objects this is very basic thing uh, there are so many precise ways to move uh, we will discuss during the project making Next, uh, let's test our copy command. So again, I will go back to my transform and open my copy, take my copy command, click it and the process is same. Again, you will see it will ask me to select objects to copy. I will select my object, then I will right click my mouse and then I will give the point to copy or you can copy in place also like it will duplicate here at the same place or vertical or horizontal that also you can decide. But for now I will do the point copy. I will select uh, the end point. It is giving me the end point because I have checked my O snap and O snap gives me these points of the object like the end points, the points and the near points, center points and all those things. Based on your requirement you can check them all or you can keep some off that we will see when we will applicate those things in detail later in the course. So for now I have on only the endpoints and the points. I will give, take the endpoint of this cylinder and I will move it. Now it is giving me an axis also the white color it shows me uh, the axis also. I can lock it or I can move it randomly and then again I will left click my mouse and it is copying. The best part is it still uh, keep Kept, you know keep the copied object with himself it's you know just like in most of the softwares if you would have learned if you would have worked you copy one time and the object is taken out and again you have to copy from the same place so but this is the way it is good you can copy it as many times as possible it doesn't lose the data until unless you cancel it so for that you need to press escape and you will get out of the command there are so many other ways and the precise ways to copy an object at a certain distance, at a certain angle, you know, uh, that we will do precisely later when we will we'll be in the later stages of the courses. Let's test how the rotate works. So again, I will go to the transform and I will use rotate 2D and 3D. So for now, uh, we will just check how it works. Left click select objects to rotate let's say i select this cone and then press enter when done i will right click the mouse and you can see now there is a plus sign at the cursor why because i have checked the copy to yes so it means if i rotate my object it will also copy it so uh, for now let's say i will make it no now you can see the plus sign has been gone it will ask me the center of rotation so either i can use my last center or i can give a new center left click again it asks for copy yes or no i will keep it no for now it is asking me angle or first reference point so either you can directly type the angle or you can give the reference point so for now i'll give the reference point this one and then i can rotate my object and it asks me a second reference point so that also I can give left click simple right but now you see uh, you have rotated but the object at the original place has been gone if you want to keep that then that copy command will be a lot helpful let's start again rotate copy I will it's no, when you left click, it will automatically become yes. And then I will use the last center. And then you can see now the plus sign is on. And then I will give the first reference point and the second reference point. Likewise, you can do multiple copies at a radial way. Nice, right? And then right click again to get out of the command. Now let's explore the mirror command. 
we'll go back again to the transform you will see this is the mirror icon I will open it select an object to mirror so let's say I will go to the top view and I will select this and press enter when done right click now you can see it is plus sign again here the copy is yes so I can copy it the object won't be removed from its place and it will mirror and create a copy of it if you don't want it you can definitely click and left click and it will change it to no automatically so bring it back to yes now x axis y axis and three point so you can either use these three terms if you directly want to mirror just flip so if you want to if you want to flip along the x axis just click it it will automatically give you a mirror now to bring back the same command at the same stage just press space bar again and select the object to mirror right click and then this time I will use y axis so you can see it mirrors it to the y axis bring it back select object right click and now it, it is asking me to give three point mirror that also you can do for that let me show you in the perspective how actually it works let's say I want to mirror this particular cuboid of the box on, on the top of it so I will give the first point and then it will ask me the end of the mirror point sorry the torus was selected let's select this first and then give the three points so first point of mirror plane this end point second point of the mirror plane this end point and you can see I have mirrored it with the third point finally good right what if you don't want to use any of these and directly want to mirror it so that also is possible again mirror command or you can press space bar to get back to it select object to mirror I would let's say I will select this press enter when done you can randomly choose your point and mirror your object so this way you can uh, you know play with this transform tool and use it based on your um, project requirement like orienting objects pointing curve to edge we will we will use most of it uh, you know it's it, it is not possible to use all the tools of rhino because it is filled with tools for different people with different applications so whatever required as per our uh, projects and i will i will show you i will uh, you know demonstrate you also the live real life examples we will do project exercises in this course as well so during that I will try to touch most of the tools as much as possible rest I um, you know I like that you guys should practice yourself you know take use of it maybe you are doing in a different application your project requires a different application maybe you can test those tools and let me know in the comment section and if you have if you are stuck in certain tools you are not able to understand that also you can put your doubts in the comment section.